Hi everybody, it's Alice here. I haven't done a vlog in what feels like forever. So I thought it was about time I did a vlog for you guys. I guess it's not quite the vlog I was expecting to make this year, but I am gonna use this vlog to give you guys the lowdown of how my year was planned to go and how it will now be going. And I promise it is full of lots of exciting things. And I, I'd been bursting to tell you guys this sort of stuff for ages. And originally I was putting things off, trying to get things organized. I wanted them to come out in a certain way. And the world has happened. Uh, so that's now no longer going ahead quite the way I planned. So I figured, you know what, I'll just tell you all exactly what is happening. And then you've all got something to look forward to, hopefully over the upcoming year, or what's left of it. So I'm gonna start with Item number one. This is something that has been buzzing around in the back of my head for a little while now. I kind of tested the theory out on a few people just to make sure I wasn't blindly leaping into something in a wild idea and it was... it went down really well actually when I told people. So here we go. Worldwide exclusive. I'm going to be changing my name from Alice's Night Circus to Alice Strange. <gasps> I know, I built up like a whole thing under Alice's Night Circus and now I'm changing it, which, oh, it's really scary, but it's also really exciting. Now, I am going to tell you why I am changing the name from Alice's Night Circus to Alice Strange. A lot of people struggle to get the name Alice's Night Circus right. Over the years, I've been called everything from Alice's Night Garden, Alice's Midnight Garden, Alice's Midnight Circus, amongst many other things. However, that kind of made me wonder, maybe my name was too complicated. But I was kind of like, ah, people get it. It's on my banners. I slap the name on everything. People, it, it will eventually like sink into the psyche. It'll be fine. There were a few incidents on social media where even though there was a photograph of my banner or my logo in the image, people were still calling me something else. It's very difficult to kind of interlink all of my social media and to make sure I get tagged or to make sure that I even see things because people people try to like mention my name to show me things, but they've called me Alice's Midnight Garden and I don't get picked up on that because that wasn't the name. Facebook and things, they don't recognize me. So I was like, mm, that was kind of like lurking in the back of my mind. And then one day, Funny story, funny confession time. This is slightly not quite PG, but I will be very polite about it. I was dressed in a really pretty dress and I happened to be out shopping. A lady came across to me. She said, oh wow, you look amazing. Who are you? <laughs> was basically the thing, which was a bit weird, but it was nice. She was really nice about it. So I just sort of said, well, it's a nice day and I always like to get dressed up because life's a special occasion and you should always wear the pretty dresses rather than shove them at the back of the wardrobe and save them for special days. I can't remember exactly why, but Alice's Night Circus came up in the conversation and I introduced myself as Alice's Night Circus and was like, you know, check it out on the internet. And she sort of looked at me a little bit oddly and she kind of went, ooh. And then she went, oh, I wouldn't have thought you did things like that. And I was just like, did things like, like what? And she leans she leans in and she goes, Alice's night service. Alice's night service. And I was just like... <laughs> oh man, I had a total moment of horror. And I was like, oh no, circus, Alice's night circus. And then had to like... <laughs> a business card and be like circus Alice's Night Circus and that was the tipping point that fun story I've been holding that one back for about six months maybe even eight months actually and that was a real moment where I suddenly went you know this name's too complicated people aren't getting it I need to do something about this also there was another reason why I guess it had all, all been bubbling away back there when I initially came up with the name Alice's Night Circus I had a plan my plan was that I would start out and what I was looking for was to build a circus but it wasn't going to be like a normal circus a big top type thing it was going to be like a show and we'd build it and there would be performers and I would find the performers 
performers and the thing is I did find performers I found some incredible performers and I sort of looked at what they were doing and I was like that's great but I don't want to steal you away from what you're doing because what you're doing is you're building your own brand and I'm like I should just build my own brand out of this instead of like trying to build this big thing and I guess over time my concept of who I was going to be and what I wanted to become with the Alice's Night Circus shifted a lot and I guess this was kind of fan driven as well because people became interested in me and who I was and it suddenly kind of dawned on me that I needed to make myself the brand rather than make a big show so Alice's Night Circus was no longer making sense in the back of my head because it, it it was no longer the thing that I had initially imagined that it would be. It became something else. And I was like, well, maybe I need to have a name change to reflect where I'm going in the future. Now I named my first album Metamorphosis because it was a change and it is still changing and it will always change with me. And I kind of hope people will come along for the ride. So I will be changing my brand and my name from Alice's Night Circus to Alice Strange. I'm gonna do this slowly so it's not just like, Bleh! there it is. I'll be slowly changing my website over all the graphics will change over, my logo will change. However, not to worry, I will be hanging on to that cog heart. Da, 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 da. Because I, I just love that. So I will be incorporating my cog heart into my new logo and then everything will slowly start to change over and I'll also probably change the names of all of my social media accounts as well. They will all be shifted over to the Alice Strange brand and hopefully everything will be cohesive but don't worry I will keep everybody up to date as soon as things are changing so there won't be broken links or anything like that. I'm personally really excited about that one. On to news item number two. This is my plan for 2020. Oh boy, I had so many plans for 2020. Yeah, I was gonna gig and I was gonna save all the money that I earned and I was gonna shove it back into new music and rebranding and it was gonna be awesome and exciting. And um, that didn't quite happen. However, I had begun writing new music. I've just told you guys that I'm gonna be rebranding as Alice Strange. However, I have one song left and it will be the last release at the moment under the brand of Alice's Night Circus. And I will reveal the title to you now. It is called The Age of Elegance. In fact, here's a little sneak peek. They stole our charms with their machines. Now fields are filled with factories, just staples where our stitches used to be. But now the same. So that's the Age of Elegance. I may release while we are still on lockdown, just to give you guys something new. And then I'm gonna shift everything over to Alice Strange. And this is where I mentioned earlier how the whole thing is a journey and that I hope you guys come on this journey with me. When you write music, you are very much in a room. There's maybe like one or two other people and you're in this bubble and you're like, well, I hope the rest of the world likes it when you release it. But you have no idea how it's gonna be received. Thankfully, my first release was received amazingly and I just, I genuinely could not have been happier with it. I'm just absolutely thrilled. I'm so thankful to everybody that got behind me on it. It's just been really overwhelming. But as I said, things shifted as I have gone along and I guess I've listened to a lot of feedback that I've got over the years from my audiences. And the number one thing I get asked is, would you ever sing with a live band? And the answer is, hell yeah. I would love to sing with a live band. However, there is a slight issue. The music I have currently was never designed to be sung with a live band, unless you mean a massive orchestra with a scattering of really weird specialist instruments. Now naturally, I cannot afford to hire a massive orchestra and specialist instruments for every gig that I do. So I kind of had that in the back of my head and I was like, moving forwards in the future, I would love to have other musicians with me on stage just because it's such a cool vibe. With that in mind, I went on the hunt for somebody who would be cool to write that sort of stuff with me. And I met a guy called Simon Bradshaw who goes by Weathered Man on Instagram. And we got on really well and he kind of got where I was coming from with wanting to draw slightly away from that massive orchestral sound that's in incredibly difficult to reproduce on stage to something that's maybe more band sounding that I could reproduce on stage and he got that so I was like right let's let's do a song we wrote a song together which I'm really excited about I really enjoy the sound of it and this is where the journey comes in because I really hope that you guys will follow me on this journey of discovering a new sound I guess that the sound for Alice Strange so here's a sneak peek of one of the original songs that I'm currently writing Simulation. Who I see in my reflection is just an imitation So 
working title of Storm, that was a bit of a demo. Just a little tiny sneak peek, just so you can hear what it sounds like. So, on top of doing a brand new original album, a lot of people were asking for covers. I sang the diva dance at the Asylum Dead Dog. And you guys went crazy for it, which is, ah, it's amazing and terrifying because it's such a difficult song to sing. But now the number one thing I get asked is, are you releasing diva dance? Where can I get a copy of you singing diva dance? Well, one doesn't exist yet, but it will exist soon because I'm gonna do a cover album. I am also gonna be doing about nine or 10 other cover songs on there. And rather than just singing along with the backing tracks that I normally use when I sing them live, I've decided to rearrange them and change them and make them interesting and different so that they belong to me as well as the original artist. In fact, I have a sneak peek of one of the tracks that sounds very different to its original form. I actually love this version. Here's a sneak peek. When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city to see a marching band. So as you see, very different version, but um, I kind of love it. I can't wait for you guys to hear the full version. So yeah, this year was supposed to be full of releases. They are now gonna be staggered. Some of them may be happening next year. Um, along with everything else, and I guess this is news item number three. I have spent a lot of time updating everything, so all my social media is up to date, including my website. I've also updated the shop, so you guys can get hold of the Penny Dreadful t-shirts because I suddenly realised I didn't put the Penny Dreadful t-shirt on my shop. So you can now get a Penny Dreadful t-shirt online and don't have to get those at gig. That's at alicesnightcircus.com and if you just pop to the shop you'll be able to get hold of all of the music and the t-shirts as well. Those will be going on sale now. I've also released a free lyric sheet download. It's really pretty. It's free so you don't have to pay anything you can literally just go and download it and make sure you're singing the words right with the music if that's what you'd like there's also a, an ulterior motive for releasing the lyrics now i'm gonna release an instrumental album of metamorphos oh, i get so many messages from people that want to sing my songs for their exams or just for fun on the internet or for competitions or shows and i'm just like i'm sorry i don't have any sheet music i don't have any instrumentals i don't have anything i'm really sorry what I would like to do is run a competition or something alongside that to encourage you guys to pop up some YouTube videos of you covering my tracks as well. I think that would be really fun. But I'll see I'll see how that goes. That'll probably be in conjunction with the release of the instrumental album. I'm also going to be putting a digital download onto my shop of the Metamorphosis album. So that kind of like helpfully sidetracks having to pay iTunes and Amazon any extra money. So it all goes back into the Alice account, which is really helpful. And speaking of helping out in the funds department. I guess I never really wanted to do this because I like being self-funded and the gigs were doing that for me and it's fantastic to be able to literally get all the money from the gigs and just put it back into the music and the merch and making sure that the fans get the best that I can get for them. However, all my gigs have been cancelled so I now don't have any money coming in which is not helpful considering I chose this year to fund two brand new albums and a brand change. I did consider setting up a Patreon, but a Patreon potentially may eat into my time a lot because I know that you have to keep that up to date and I am not good at keeping things up to date. And because of my condition with the ME and fibro, if I have like a week or two where I'm not great, I'm not gonna be able to upload anything and I do not wanna disappoint anyone if they're paying money into a subscription and I can't give you your money's worth. So I've opened a coffee account instead coffee.com forward slash Alice Strange. I'll make sure that I attach a link to this video anyway so that you guys can see where to go. Whatever you donate will 100% go back into the music. To end this vlog on a good note, not that there haven't been many good notes, um, I will be doing a live stream show at some point very soon. I believe I've got Steampunk over either on the 18th of April, which is the weekend coming, depending when you're watching this video, of course, because it may have already happened. After that, I'm hoping to do a live stream the following week. So that's the week 20th. <laughs> So hopefully I'll do a live stream at some point that week. I haven't decided exactly what date it is just yet because there's a lot of other people doing live streams and I don't want to accidentally tread on anybody else's live stream toes. So I need to find a date where nobody else is doing anything and then I'll live stream on that date. But I will let everybody know with plenty of warning in advance for that. Now the fun thing about my live stream is I've decided to go slightly wild. I'm going to go in with a set list. So I'll have some songs. I'll have a bunch of my uh, Alice's Night Circus songs to sing. However, I'm going to completely 
open the floor up to requests. Throw in your ideas during the live stream and I will literally pick them as I go. I'll just bring them up and I'll sing them, whether I know them or not. So it could be really fun. I might get halfway through the song and suddenly realise I don't know it as well as I thought I did. You can start thinking about them now. I'm open to anything from like pop music, rock music, the 80s, 90s, the cheesiest pop bandy stuff you can think of, classical music, opera, stuff from theatre, musicals, Disney songs, songs from movies, and just go for it. So I'm looking forward to that, that'll be next week. So I think that's pretty much it for this vlog, which was kind of jam-packed with news. Hope you enjoyed, hope you're as excited as I am for the year coming and everything that I'm now doing. So if you've enjoyed this vlog, be sure to check out my other vlogs and my covers that that I'm keeping up to date pretty regular with on my YouTube channel. Ooh, 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 I got a thousand subscribers. I know what that was. I'm thrilled at that. That puts me into the next category. Now I just need to get something like 4,000 public watch hours, I think, and I'm at like 1,500. So basically, if you guys can just like play my videos in the background while you're not even watching them. <laughs> that would be great. No, I'm kidding. I've got to get my public watch hours up. But my YouTube channel is really taking off now, so I'm absolutely thrilled with that. That's all thanks to you guys tuning in and listening to me waffle. So if you've enjoyed that, make sure to subscribe below, click the bell icon. That makes sure you get notified every time I put up a video. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook as Alice's Night Circus and Instagram under Curious by Alice. Stay safe, everybody, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!